Well, hi guys and girls, welcome back to the spare room. This is the second part, and we're going to start and, and actually make something with this metal spinning attachment for the light. A few people have had concerns about it, and a few people have brought up things that I hadn't thought of. Um, nothing particularly serious. There were some concerns about the bearings in this lathe, and they're steel on steel, and they're pretty solid, and I really don't think that that's going to be a problem. There was concerns about the horsepower in the lathe, and to be honest, I've never been quite sure about that since I started thought about this, so the best thing we can do is try it and see, but we're only folding up a bit of 26 gauge copper. We're not actually getting serious and making stainless steel saucepans four foot diameter, you know. So we'll see how we go. But the first part is the, the rest base that actually goes on the, it sits on that block. Um, if we have a bit of a look. We've got this block sits on the bed. And this bolt goes through it and it's got a, a square head on it so it doesn't turn so you can tighten it up easy. And that fits, if we look at the drawing, That fits nicely in there, or this way around, and it's adjustable from pretty close to the center out to about two inches bigger than the, the actual swing of the lathe. So that's plenty big enough. If we go any bigger, it's going to get a bit of flex in it. But if we look at it, it's got plenty of support over half of it there right out and right in which is probably more likely where it's going to be is your supports right on this block so that should be pretty good so got some bits a bit of pine there and a couple of little bits of hardwood six by six I just bought sections rather than try and dress it down or plane it down and make it fit or cut it out of something I just went and bought a stick of that it's a meter long and some 12 by 40 hardwood which will be nice so first job I've already done I print out extra drawing at one to one and cut out that cut out the, the pattern and glued it on the piece of wood so first job I guess is to get the the frets all down and clean this up clean this up and drill three holes <coughs> and clean this hole up we can clean these up and screw them on there nicely and we can machine this up to go in that hole with a, a nice end on it and sand it all up glue that in there, glue a little piece on the front for the screw which I haven't actually included in this drawing but there's a piece goes on a piece goes on the front here so that there's something for a, a cap screw to bite into so that's what we're going to do today I'm not going to put a whole lot of relief on any of the angles here a little bit wouldn't hurt and probably these are going to be just a fraction inside so that we can clean them up with a little bit on the outside edges or the long edges and probably a bit of taper on this block but as for the short edges I'm probably not going to bother because an experience with my my molder is that he or she depending on who does it will be able to get this out of a sand mold pretty easy so Let's get the scroll saw down. <coughs> this isn't a bad little scroll saw. It's an Audi job. To be honest, it's not too bad. It's 
Have a look, it's been set up for, for pattern making last time, so this is set up on a fraction of an angle. Just make sure that's nice and square. It's always a good idea to check before you start cutting anything with any saw. That looks alright. So that's got the ends cleaned up. Now, one thing I've learned about scroll saws is a bit of thicker material. Slow them down a bit. This one's variable speed. And it's start pretty slow and it's going to take forever. Just speed it up until it just starts to feel like you've only just got control. And slow it down a bit more. That's the way to get reasonable results with a scroll saw and that's not too bad. So I'll give that a pile up. Next job's to drill some holes I guess. So I got a bit of ahead of myself here. I've drilled these holes and cleaned these up so the slot's fairly nice. Plenty of body filler in that. And sanded these round nice. Just with a bit of emery paper and a vice. Cleaned a bit of paper off. And chucked up a bit of this pine and machined a spigot on this to go through this hole. Which is pretty straightforward. We'll glue him in and sand him off on the top and the bottom then. What I'm going to do is part him off to the right length. And halfway through I'm going to put a nice curve on there. And have a bit more of a look. This is what we've got. So that'll glue in there with a bit of filler around it. And we'll just take the, that off flush and that off flush. Next thing is to glue these two strips on here. Cut them the length. And glue them together. Give them a file up on the ends. And maybe I'll put a couple of screws in there to stop them coming off. With some little four gauge wood screws and make a little box for there. So let's have a bit of a look at these pieces. So that's pretty straightforward. They want to be in just a fraction so that I can put a bit of relief along the sides, a bit of angle, just a bit of draft on the pattern so it comes out easy. These are a little bit oversized. It doesn't much matter where they are along here. They don't want to be right up there because you're going to have a little hole that's going to be really hard to mould. The best thing is probably to give these a sand up and just glue them on and leave them for a bit and then put a couple of screws in them and we can finish it, finish the ends together while it's on there. So I'm going to leave this till last because it's going to be in the way I think. Let's give these a sand up. It's pretty warm here, I guess about 36, 38. The window's open and the breeze is quite pleasant. I've got the fan going but... Hopefully you can hear me about that. And some careful positioning and we'll leave them to dry for a bit. Now, you probably work this out, and it's not really something that is a secret, but woodwork and me aren't real good bedfellows, so we can put this together and make it work. There's a bit of a hole in there. We're going to put some filler in there. 
The secret to pattern making is this stuff. Sorry to all you perfectionist woodworkers out there, but good stuff. There's a hardener as well. A bit of paper and an old bit of wood to, a splinter of wood to clean, mix it up. So they're on nice and solid. I'm going to leave them be, or I'm going to fiddle with them if I don't. So I found some little two gauge brass wood screws. They're not countersunk head, which is a bit of a pain. But they're what I got without going out. And probably two gauge brass screws are it's fairly difficult to get anyway on a Sunday in, on the Gold Coast in Queensland. It's not a particularly industrial area and most of this stuff is sort of special order. So what I'm going to do, I've just put a bit of a counterbore in them, drilled them and put a bit of a counterbore in them. And I'm going to file them off and fill them up with the body filler and you won't even know they're in there. Nice breeze here now, but it's it's still pretty warm. I'd say it's still probably 30. Uh, it's pushing 4 p.m. I'll get in and file them off. I've marked each end here, pretty nice where they need to clean up, and I'll just give them a round over with a file, or, or clean up with a file, and then I'll mark them with a radius gauge, and give them a clean up with a file then. So I found a nice sharp chisel, which I actually do have, and a quarter inch radius gauge. I'm just going to draw around them nicely with a nice sharp pencil, and just peer them off with a chisel, get them somewhere near and we'll give them a sand up. So this is starting to look pretty good. I've got those nicely rounded and matched on each end. It's a good idea to put some time into a pattern like this. Your finished item's going to look lots and lots nicer. And it's going to be a lot quicker to, to clean up. What I'm going to do with this the finish casting is probably just set up on the shaper and clean the bottom off and set him up this way and sharpen a tool to clean this clean this out so that the T-bolt fits and probably set him up that way and clean the top off or probably it's just going to get a file up that's all it's really going to need so before I put that in this is I've left a bit of a gap there, I think you can see that. Down there, I'm going to clean this off on a bit of an angle. And set up a, a little square. And clean that up on a bit of an angle all the way through there. Just down each side. And we'll have a look at it then. Just to give it a bit of a draft so that it comes out of the actual pattern. Come, so it actually comes out of the sand without knocking too many bits over and, and looking a bit ugly. So that's cleaned that up and I've put a bit of draft on each side. I'm just going to, there's a little bit of undercut there still the same on both sides. I'm going to put a little bit of filler in that. A bit of filler in the top and the screws. Probably a bit of filler in that edge just to give it a bit of a round corner. I'm going to glue that back in and put a bit of filler around there. And we're starting to look something like. So I guess everyone knows how to use builder's bog. It's probably the same as auto body bog, except probably a bit cheaper. And in a different aisle at the hardware store. Some wooden icy pole sticks. Now this stuff goes off and I run out of hardener before it actually gets used up so don't be afraid to use a bit of it. We probably don't need to mix up this much but by the time we get a bit on our fingers and stuff what you're going to find is that there won't be a whole lot left. Mm -hmm. 
So last bit goes on the front here and I've just flattened that off with a nice sharp chisel and I've marked a piece of plywood. What I'm going to do is cut that out and glue that in place there. Probably put a screw in it and put a bit of fill around it and clean it all up nice so that it's got a, a square piece that sticks out and we're starting to look like it's ready to go. So there we go. I've managed to get pretty dirty. I've put a little a little square bump on the front there for a set screw. And all this is cleaned up nice. It's all nice and smooth. It's got a bit of angle, a bit of a bit of draft on it all the way around. It's actually looking pretty good. That wants a bit of a probably a bit of a file up there. Still I can see a bump there. But apart from that, it's not a bad looking pattern. I'll probably paint this because it gets grubby pretty quick and it sits around in my drawer and and absorbs the moisture and stuff and it needs work next time I want to use it or if I ever want to use it again. So quick coat of paint is probably the best thing on this. But more or less finished anyway and ready to go so time to edit this video up and upload it clean some of this sawdust out of everything and get ready to do some metal work next so thanks for watching and be kind to each other and more soon comment like subscribe share all that sort of stuff and uh, next part is the block that goes on here the the actual rest and I've got some steel to make that out of it's pretty solid so whether I get a start on that tomorrow I'm not sure but thanks for watching guys